So it dawned on me, I've never really told my story. And as much as I have told my story over the years, small little bits and pieces, little puzzle pieces all over the place, I haven't really painted the full picture for you guys. So I really am so excited to finally announce that I'm going to be telling my story right here on YouTube. Hey guys, I'm Sonique Saturday. I'm a handbag designer, fashion stylist, fashion blogger, influencer. I'm just a fashion enthusiast. I love I all things sad. fashion. So I'm gonna name this series Saturday Story. I like that. In this series, you guys will learn about me. You guys will understand how I transitioned from Atlanta to LA, how I became a fashion designer and stylist, and how I was really able to grow my business and my brand. And I mean, this is my entire story since I've been like alive. <laughs> So for the first episode, I have to start from the beginning, which is my parents. People ask me when they meet me in person, like, oh my gosh, Sonique, you're so bubbly and you're always in good spirits and you have this energy and this aura that's so just infectious and contagious. Like, where do you get that from? And I have to always, honestly, I wish I could give myself the credit. I have to go back to my parents. My parents are the bomb. Like, they are legit just everything. My mom, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know she is a complete hoot she is so funny she's so relatable she's so down to earth and she's just been that best friend that I've always had in my you know in my corner and I'm so forever grateful but I feel like you guys don't even know anything about my dad you guys never see him um <laughs> I don't know if you guys even know that my dad lives out here in LA and he's um the sole reason that I am out here till this day so a little bit about my parents. My mom, she was a hairstylist um, in her early 20s and she had to retire early because she had surgery on her wrists like twice. So it literally handicapped her um, to the point where she couldn't even perform hair anymore. But her dreams were to, you know, become this huge hairstylist and travel with celebrities and actresses and be on the road. And you know, saying this back in the day was like, girl, that's not a real profession. Like, what are you talking about? You need to go to school and you need to get a degree and you need to get a job so you can have stability and, you know, financial stability to be able to have a family one day. And my mom in her time was a lot like how we are um, in these times. You know, it's very regular for people to say, oh, I want to quit my job and start an online business or I want to start a blog or, you know, I want to be a backpacker and travel the world. It's very common to hear those things. But back when our parents were dreaming of these ideas in their 20s, people were looking at them crazy. And my mom was one of those rebels. She was just like, you know what, I'm going to graduate from high school. But after that, I'm going to go to cosmetology school and I'm going to, you know, do my own thing in aspiration to working with all these amazing clients and one day owning her own salon. So, of course, her dreams got cut short um, due to her surgery on her hand. But that's kind of where I get a lot of my entrepreneurial background from is my mom. And a lot of people don't know that. As for my dad, my dad, he is the most amazing man that I know. And I know that every girl feels like that about their dad but my dad he is so special like his story is so rare and he's such a gem especially where he comes from my mom is originally from Detroit Michigan and my dad is from Cleveland Ohio two crazy people come together and make one peaceful child <laughs> thank God um, but my dad's career is a lot different from a lot of other people's careers, especially a lot of my friend's dad's careers. My dad got his start in Cleveland, Ohio, basically working for a midnight club, like one of those clubs that, you know, was popular in the city. And he wasn't a musician. He actually worked for the musicians. And back then, it wasn't a thing to where people knew that musicians and artists would hire a team, if you will, to travel the world with them. And my dad has been doing that his entire life. My dad was the guitar technician for Prince. Prince, bruh. 
prince yes the prince um and my dad was the last guitar technician uh for prince so that's i mean just to even say that out loud it's like do you guys understand the shoes that i have to feel and the example that was placed in front of me as a child um my dad was the stage manager for Whitney Houston throughout her entire career, stage manager for Luther Vandross. He's traveled the world with Tina Marie, Rick James, NXS, Blondie, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Earth, Wind & Fire, DMX, Red Man, Method Man, the SOS Band, the Daz Band. So my dad used to manage the Daz Band and the SOS Band. And a quick little short story, as my dad was their manager, they had a small little rehearsal studio in Atlanta, Georgia, and right next door was a hair salon. And that hair salon is where my mom worked. So as my dad was literally next door, like for months at a time, getting these bands polished enough to travel and tour the world, my mom was right next door doing hair. So my dad would go into the salon to go get a haircut and my mom would cut his hair. And that's how their relationship got started. So it's such a fairy tale little story um, that they have, which is so, I don't know, it's very cute to me. But yeah, so that's how my parents met. And I have to say all of this on my very first video about my personal story is because a lot of who I am today comes from my parents. My mom, entrepreneurial background. My dad, entrepreneurial background. They both have always worked for themselves. So I wasn't really raised um, with my parents saying that I couldn't get a job. I just didn't see an example of them having a boss you know, clocking in and out, nine to five. You know, I just didn't see that type of corporate America example. I saw my dad was traveling nine, 10 months out of the year. I saw my mom have personal clients, you know, so that's kind of what shaped my mind as a very young girl. Now that you guys know who my parents are, can you imagine the type of lifestyle I grew up in? I would literally go to school in Atlanta, which is where I'm originally from, and anytime that I was not in school I was out here in California with my dad okay so you know how your parents are divorced but your dad lives like maybe 10 15 minutes up the street okay so my parents divorced when I was like one or two and my dad just so happened to live across country so I would get out of school on Friday and catch a flight to go spend the weekend with my dad out here in LA and then on Sunday or sometimes even Monday I would fly back to Atlanta to go back to school and sometimes I would do that maybe once a month anytime I was out of school spring break Christmas break, summer, um, winter break even, I would be out here in LA and I would come and meet my dad in California and then we would go on tour with whomever artist that he's working for at the time. So I grew up on the road with Janet Jackson, Luther Vandross, Whitney Houston was like one of my god moms. We have the same birthday so once she found out that you know obviously one of her stage manager's daughters is on the road with us every single year she watched me grow up and we had the same birthday so me and Whitney had that deep connection and um I didn't look at these people as if they were the icons that they were I just I mean I'm a kid I don't know who these people are um and I hang out with them all day they just so happen to go on stage and sing at night I didn't really think it was like you know a big deal and now of course looking back now that i'm an adult and i realize i'm like wow i was like you know being coddled by tina marie backstage it's amazing to really look back and reflect on um, but it also is amazing because it makes me understand why I am the way that I am. I got exposed to so much as a child from just traveling the world with my dad on tour with all of these famous celebrities. And it also taught me that you can work for yourself. You can have a sustainable business. Um, you can grow and keep good relationships and keep good resources around you. So you're always 
keeping a job basically so that's what my my dad that's what he's done his entire life I mean till this day like my dad in that world in the music industry and you know on the touring and production side of the music industry my dad is a god like I mean honestly I've seen him walk into rooms with Lauren Hill's band and the whole band is like bowing down to him um, just because he's paid his dues and he's one of the OGs in the business so I am so excited to finally share some of this information with you guys um, it's almost like I've been holding this information away from you guys or something and I honestly I haven't it just never dawned on me that I don't know people cared or that I haven't really told you guys um some of my story so I'm so excited that I'm starting this first episode talking about my parents I love them so much they are amazing my parents have really shaped my mind into thinking large I mean big big bigger than big once you understand what my dad does for a living how my mom got started and how they met everything else about sonique saturday makes a lot of sense i know you guys are like okay that makes sense <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching so the next episode i'm going to be talking about how i went to private christian school my whole life and i had to wear a uniform which sucked i mean i hated wearing uniforms it was so annoying I mean third grade seventh grade I'm like bro I'm still wearing uniform like this is sick so the second episode I'm gonna be discussing that and how I was able to really understand my creative side because I had to get creative I mean I'm wearing a uniform every day so I'm gonna be talking about that on my next video and I look forward to seeing you guys there thank you so much for watching bye guys